good evening, everybody. It is late. It's after 11.30. Uh, my wife is still up. we got one son who's still out goofing around. He's got to be home by midnight, so hopefully he doesn't come in while we're recording this. But I just want to give you guys a channel update and also wanted to give a huge thank you to Dominic Minichetti. I just shouted out his channel a few videos ago, but I want to show you the, the awesome gift that he mailed to me. I, Dominic, I can't thank you enough, man. What a kind gesture. Uh, so appreciate you sending that to me. I've already opened it. I couldn't wait, and I didn't know how long it'd be before I could do a video. So I'm going to open this up for you guys real quick. Uh, first thing that he sent to me was a sticker. So there is one of his stickers. If you don't know Dominic's channel... He does a lot of awesome stuff. The guy is so crafty. Um, but probably my favorite videos is he does a video every Friday called Fired Up Friday, where he makes fire a hundred different ways. Always something new with him, always some new gadget or new ferro rod or new striker or new piece of shirt or a char cloth or just, just all the uh, beeswax, all these awesome different things that he uses. But anyway. He also is constantly making stuff, and, and speaking of making stuff, one of the things he sent me is this really cool antler ring. Uh, so let me see if I can get the little sack opened up and show it to you guys a little closer. So look at that right there. So again, Dominic can't thank you enough. So the antler ring, the sticker, and then he sent me this awesome spice kit. So I'll definitely take this on my next backpacking trip. Check this out. Wax canvas. And then on these two end pockets, it has two smaller glass bottles. In the middle pocket, it's got one larger glass bottle. And then on the other end pocket, again, two smaller ones. So this is what's in the middle. And then the other end pocket is like the other. So, again, Dominic, thank you so much. Um, I sure appreciate it, man. I'll definitely use these if I. I don't know if I'm going to get a backpacking trip in this summer. I hope to, but I just don't. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to do it. But if so, you'll definitely see this on a video because I'll take it with me, and we'll use this to season up the fish that we catch and cook on the backpack video. So if you haven't checked out Dominic's channel, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you check it out. Uh, make sure you tell him Minute on the Mountains sent you over to him. You'll, you'll love it. Just a genuine guy. Great stuff on his channel. So that's the first thing that I wanted to share, guys. A couple of things. I also wanted just to give you a channel update. Some things that are happening. I, I just got finished downloading some footage I took from a little fishing trip on the Blacksmith Fork River yesterday with a friend of mine from church. And so I'll post that next week. And the reason I won't post it until next week is we are leaving tomorrow for our family vacation. And we're going down to Kanab, Utah, which is in southern Utah, kind of right on the border of Arizona. We're going to spend some time doing a lot of hiking down there. We've got a couple of slot canyons we want to check out. Uh, my boys and I might do a little bit of fishing. So we'll, we'll video a lot on that trip and, you know, hopefully be able to produce three or four different videos out of that. So all of that will happen over the next week or so. So it'll be a while before you start seeing those show up, but uh, they will show up and I hope you guys enjoy them. The other thing I wanted to mention is I did not draw a deer tag this year. So you'll see no deer hunt from me. Uh, my son Caleb did not draw a deer tag either. My son Andrew did draw a muzzle loader tag. But that's going to be right in the middle of football season. So realistically, you know, last year he only hunted twice. No, once. Like he hunted once last year. So we'll, we'll see if we can get him out. I just, you know, I don't know, guys. I was pretty disappointed. I'm not going to lie to you. It's frustrating to me that a guy can't go out and hunt a deer if he wants. I mean, I would shoot a doe. I'm not trophy hunting. I just want to hunt meat. But they have very few doe tags in Utah. So anyway, no buck tag for deer. The antlerless permits... Uh, the draw for the antlerless permits starts tomorrow, so I will put in for a cow elk tag. I did not draw a cow tag last year, so I've got one uh, preference point, so I should draw this year. Typically, I draw every other year, so I'm hopeful to draw a cow tag. 
And then when the any bull tags for bull elk go on sale later this summer, I'll, I'll get one as soon as it opens up to try and get in any bull tag. So that's what's coming up as far as you know, big game hunts and things like that. So it may be fairly limited. We'll see. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know, I, I noticed a lot of people are into the stickers on YouTube. To be honest with you, that's pretty new to me. I've never really done stickers. You know, I just shared with you that sticker that Dominic sent me. But I did order some stickers today because that's something I can, I can afford to give away to guys. You know, unfortunately, I can't afford to give hats out to everybody that watches my channel. I'm just financially not in a position to do that. Um, but I, I could certainly do that with a sticker. So as I get those in for you guys who are into that and, and you'd like a Men on the Mountain sticker, uh, I'll just ask you to send me an email and I'd be happy to shoot one out to you. Or if you want to trade stickers, if you've got a sticker you want to send my way, uh, you know, I'll certainly do a little mail call video and, and show it off and then send you one out as well. So that's kind of an update on where the channel's going. We've got this Southern Utah trip. Again, that should produce at least two or three different videos, I would think, out of it. I've got this fishing video to post. Hopefully, I'll get in one backpacking trip this summer. If so, that'll get us some videos. And then my son Andrew's muzzleloader hunt will video. And if we happen to get any other tags, you know, certainly we'll take you along on those as well. Thanks for all your support, guys. I want to wrap this up with the Minute on the Mountain for this video. We've been doing this series on, you know, biblical manhood. And we've talked about being a protector. Uh, we talked about taking initiative, I think, on the first video. I'd, I'd have to go back and look, to be honest with you. But the one that I want to talk about today is serving. Biblical manhood is all about servant leadership. You know, Jesus said, if, if you want to be first, you need to be last. And if we're following Jesus Christ, never before has anyone served like Jesus did. Uh, so I just would encourage you guys this week, think of some way that you can serve, whether that's serving your wife, serving your kids, serving through your local church, serving in your community, or if it's just keeping your eyes open at the grocery store and, and helping somebody with their groceries, you know, whatever it takes, but let's be about serving this week. So that's the next principle of biblical manhood is being a servant leader. So thanks for all your support, guys. Again, the channel I want to shout out today, even though I just did a shout out for him, is going to be Dominic's channel uh, since he was so gracious to send me those, those goodies. So check him out if you haven't already. I sure appreciate all your support. God bless you guys. We'll see you the next time we're out on the mountain.